Hello everyone, Pally Tub here, and welcome back to Rogue Legacy 2. Last episode, we had a phenomenal Spelunky run, hitting every chest, not only in the main castle, but also full clearing Axis Mundi. It was a huge step in the right direction for our entire family line. Another huge step for our family line? Well, we have a dwarf character. And I'm going to show you very quick, not clickbaity, right at the beginning of the video, why that is important. I teleported to the Sun Tower. This is the middle point of Axis Mundi. We unlocked this as our very first teleport during our playthrough. And inside of Axis Mundi, we of course already know about the Pizza Girl home. However, if we... Break these pumpkins, which may not be in your game because there's a, it's a seasonal thing. Over on the left-hand side, there is now an entrance we can go in. And you might be able to guess what needs to happen now. Actually, let me read these things before we jump to any conclusions. Specialty order pizza recipes. Lamex meat and mushroom pizza, tomato sauce, heavy mozzarella cheese, sliced mushroom thin, crushed red pepper flakes, green peppers, pepperoni, and light on the sausage. Enox pineapple pizza, tomato sauce, light, mozzarella cheese, double, pineapples, ham, pepperoni. Sound off down in the comments. How do you feel about pineapple on pizza? I don't know if I'm if I'm really willing to stake a claim. My career could be at stake, but I definitely have a preference. I know what I think. Nama's green pizza, tomato sauce, very light, goat cheese, spinach, basil, oregano, cherry tomatoes, arugula, and olive oil. Irad's pepperoni pizza, tomato sauce, heavy, mozzarella cheese, regular pepperoni, double that serving, cheddar cheese, place on the crust, and perforate for easy tearing. Wow, I read very specific. On the last page, there are instructions on how to repair and convert wicker plates into targets. Oh yeah. I guess it kind of took me for a loop because my screen was a different color. I haven't actually interacted with the scar system in any way. Uh, so I can't unlock this one that's right here. It's literally just sitting right here, ready to be picked up. So I guess I didn't really clickbait you because I showed you where to get it, but I can't get it. <laughs> it's kind of unfortunate. After taking our little buddy out back, we have a Valkyrie. Also with the money that we got from the last run, we were able to purchase the Warden Weapon. I recorded that segment that you just watched last night when I was really tired and I was really confused why I didn't have access to that scar. Well, if you want to not look like I did being in that room with nothing to pick up, then go in here and interact with this guy and he'll teach you a thing or two about a thing or two. I'm going to save that for another episode. We're going to get back into the castle and clear through Axis Mundi. So what started out is not clickbait, might be clickbait a little bit, but hey, sorry, I tried. Also, did I just say this? We have a new weapon, but we can't equip it yet. So we have to continue to level up our total encumbrance. Axis Mundi on a Valkyrie should be no problem at all. There are a decent amount of projectiles that can go through walls here, but we can completely negate those. One of those projectiles, oh, didn't see the purple. One of those projectiles is that dude right there who's shooting him through the, through the floor. I don't think I can actually deflect the purple stuff. Should I try? Yes, indeed, I cannot. Uh, so, taking down this elite is actually a little dangerous, but we do have a new spell! This is, I actually don't know what it's called, I always just call it the Kamehameha Beam, which is able to do damage in a very long, straight line. Holy shit, there are so many things damaging me. The main issue with this ability is it has a ridiculously high mana cost. But luckily for us, the Valkyrie is able to deflect projectiles and get mana back on top of just attacking enemies for that very same mana. So refilling that mana bar shouldn't be that too, too much of a trouble for us today. We did take a lot of damage right in the beginning of this. Hopefully that is not something that continues throughout this run. 
As a Valkyrie, we're also able to attack straight up and down, meaning that we can actually hit those guys through, ooh, through walls in some cases. Uh, wasn't expecting his momentum to continue forward. We deflect one of the arrows. I didn't even see this hammer guy. These guys are really sneaking up on me today. Ooh, 27 damage as we dash across. Thanks are getting a little serious here. I'm gonna check this chest, that's $700. I think we have double I-beams right here. Perfect. If we're ever taking a lot of damage, all we need to do is simply slow it down. We already know we're good at this game. It's just time to execute. Look at that, that was beautiful. I think I might just leave that guy here. Let's focus our damage on this mage on the right-hand side, take him out, unfortunately. If I didn't have the magnetic rune, we would have lost a lot of money there. There's a secret up ahead as well as a chest. If I can get this guy close to the wall, that would be best. Got him. All right. I really want a challenge portal. We have not had an Axis Mundi challenge portal yet. <gasps> Do we? Do we dare? Wait, we don't have to reload anymore, right? A kinetic revolver, new weapon being swapped in. Can be aimed, press left or uh, right bumper to reload. Last five bullets, always crit. But we can still deflect. <laughs> this is the weapon for the gunslinger. In our most recent video where I started playing again, I kept calling it the duelist. You know, you, you go out to duel. That made sense to me. You, you know, pistols at dawn. Ooh. Don't have my ability to get rid of those things yet. Let me go ahead and reload. We need to make sure we're still playing this right. I can't deflect until we attack enemies, and I can't get mana back. Okay, we do get mana back from my regular attacks, so that's good. Um, if we had our old weapon, I literally could have just attacked through the wall there, and it would have been fine. That's enough! Ooh, didn't connect with everybody, but pretty good damage there. We have a lightning mage coming down on the right. He's my number one priority. We can deflect these away to get mana back. <laughs> Deflecting with a gun feels kind of satisfying. I'm kind of a fan, I think. I could, I could get into this. I could definitely get into this. Damage from the door. It, ooh. Okay, I still have the problem for the gunslinger where I keep trying. Oh! Oh, no. Wow, didn't even hit the mage. Ah! I keep trying to reload with the Y button because that historically is what it was. I don't know what to do about this guy. Uh, now I can't deflect. Hold on. Over the trap. Maybe I'm playing like, I, I, I don't know. I don't think I'm playing cautious. I don't think cautious is the right word. I'm playing pretty timid, though. And maybe that's costing me in some instances. Uh, we have a bone thrower on the right-hand side. Unfortunately, just out of my range. Here we go. That'll do the trick. We have a chest up ahead in this room. I mean, it's... What was that? Oh, no! An elite hammer! Ah! An elite hammer threw his ability through the wall and took us down. I guess that Valkyrie one wasn't meant to be. It wasn't meant to be. How much money did we actually acquire, though? This is pretty important. And holy crap, I like this setup quite a lot. This might be the next character. Lady Aaron, with her very, very toxic setup. That could be really, really fun. But most importantly, we can just barely buy the weapon increase, the weapon load increase, and hopefully... Yes, indeed. Attach the Warden's weapon onto our characters for the first time. That's a big damage increase. 47 a swing is pretty good. When you consider we've barely put any damage increases up here on the left side. This is all pretty baseline still. Well, uh, sorry for the short runs today. That some, sometimes that just kind of happens. I hope you enjoyed the video nonetheless. We're going to take on Axis Mundi again with a toxic duelist in the next episode. Take care, and I'll see you guys again next time.